Hello everybody, this is my full video on how to stop crashing on Spider-Man 2 for the PC on NVIDIA GPUs. Unfortunately, this game is very poorly optimized, although I am very excited to play it, and it crashed a couple of times when I'm trying to uh, play it, but uh, I did a couple of things to fix it. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is turn off the LSS. Uh, let's go into settings here and turn this off. Click OK. And that should stop some crashing. The next thing you want to do is, of course, make sure your NVIDIA drivers are up to date. If you don't have the NVIDIA app, you need to download the NVIDIA app. Go to drivers and click on install the newest drivers. Uh, they just released a, a new driver today uh, for Spider-Man 2. So make sure that you have that uh, installed. The next thing you want to do is increase the shader cache size for the NVIDIA. So go to NVIDIA control panel. Now, if you don't have NVIDIA control panel installed, you need to install it. And on the left hand side, you're going to see something called manage 3D settings. And from here, uh, you see two tabs, global settings and program settings. So from here, you want to scroll down and you see shader cache size. Uh, you want this to be at least 10 gigabytes, ideally 100 gigabytes. Um, and if you do not do this, basically uh, the game might run out of RAM and crash. The next thing you might, might want to try is to open up Steam, find Spider-Man 2, and here you can right click on it, go to properties, go to installed files, and verify integrity of game files, just to make sure that there are no corrupted uh, game files within Spider-Man 2. Okay, the next thing you might want to try is to manage some background processes. So press Control shift escape And uh, you want to basically end any processes that might be interfering with it, specifically anything like uh, anti-cheat software uh, for Valorant, uh, Marvel Rivals, or, uh, or Counter-Strike. Uh, these tend to not play very well with uh, very games like Spider-Man 2 and NVIDIA related uh, games. The next thing you want to do is go into firewall and disable that. So go to Windows Security, scroll down until you see firewall and network protection. Uh, you want to either, you want to basically turn this off and then you also want to go to virus and threat protection. Uh, and turn this off. Again, I do not recommend this, um, but I do not recommend this usually, but uh, just turn it off while running the game and hopefully that will stop some crashing. The next thing you might want to do is uh, if it's not on an SSD, you want to move it to an SSD. By the way, uh, make sure that this is installed on the same drive as your, uh, as Steam is installed on um, make sure that, for example, I am on the C drive, my Steam is on C drive, and Spider-Man 2 is installed on a C drive. If they're on two different hard drives, this does so uh, cause some crashing uh, due to basically uh, uh, temporary files being, um, being lost or not being able to access, and things like that. Okay, now let's move on to optimizing Windows graphics settings. So you want to go to settings, system, display, graphics, and you want to click on change default graphic settings. And here uh, you'll see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling or HAGS. Um, this will be off by default. Uh, you want to make sure that this is on. Okay. Next, let's move on to device manager under device manager go down to sound video and game controllers you'll see something like nvidia high definition audio you want to disable this device uh, this might not cause the crash but this will definitely uh, crash your fps um, by the way if you disable it and it stops the audio from working then uh, consider re-enabling but this is very uh this gets in the way of a lot of different games 
The next thing you want might want to try is to run the game as administrator. So right click on it on your Steam library, go to properties, go to installed files, go to browse. From here, find spiderman2.exe. You want to right click on this, go to properties, compatibility, and run this program as administrator and hit apply and hit okay. By the way, if the crashing uh, is still happening, you might want to try to disable full screen optimizations. This does cr cause crashing for a lot of Nvidia GPUs. Okay, the next thing you want to do is turn off some overlays. So go to Steam, go to settings in the top left, go to in game. And from here on the very top, you're gonna to see something called enable the Steam overlay while in game. You want to make sure that this is off. This does cause crashing on some people's systems. The next thing you want to do is uh, stop the GeForce overlay as well. So open the G NVIDIA. If you don't have this, you need it. Uh, go to settings. In the very top here, uh, you'll see NVIDIA overlay. Make sure that this is off. Okay, the next solution helped a lot of people on Reddit to stop crashing, so I definitely recommend giving this a try. So go to NVIDIA control panel. Once again, from here, go to manage 3D settings and from here, go to global settings. Okay, now earlier I told you to change this to 100 gigabytes and I totally recommend you to do that. But we are right now going to delete uh, some shader caches within the nvidia so what we're gonna do is take the shader cache size and click on disable and click ok apply then what you're gonna do is open file explorer by the way uh, before you do this you want to close all running games including steam to make sure this doesn't inter uh, well it basically won't yet let you uh delete the files because they're in use but uh, close everything first. Open File Explorer, go to C, go to Users, go to whatever user you're currently logged in as. From here, go to App Data. By the way, this is a hidden folder, so you have to click View, Show Hidden Items. Uh, it's a little bit different for Windows 10, uh, but it's, it's similar. App Data Local. Okay, in this folder, you're gonna see two folders, DX cache and GL cache. What you're gonna do is press Control A to select all and delete. GL cache as well, Control A and delete. And then restart your computer. Then once you've done that, you want to go back into the control panel, go back to shader cache size and turn this to unlimited or uh, 100 gigabytes. Um, generally, the higher the better. But yeah, do that. And then try running the game and this should stop crashing for a lot of people. And the last thing I would recommend is a program called Exit Lag. Now this won't necessarily stop crashing, but this will increase your FPS in gaming and it will increase FPS in online gaming quite a bit. It reduces ping. Uh, my ping was 30 in Marvel Rivals, for instance, and using this exit lag, it reduced it to 15. It uses a VPN to find servers that are nearest to you and optimizes it. It also has a bunch of FPS boost settings for within Windows. It is free for the first three days, so might as well give it a shot. You can also shotgun internet. So for example, you want to run Wi-Fi, mobile, and Ethernet, all at the same internet connection. You can with this. It is amazing. I highly recommend it. So give it a shot. Why not? For example, you can see I have Steam connected to it. I'm getting 5 ping. Yes, 5 ping. That is 4 ping right now. It is amazing. I never get 4 ping on any connection. So I highly recommend it. I'll put a link under the video description in a pinned comment below. Give it a shot. Okay, if this video helped you, please leave a comment and please subscribe. If it didn't help you, leave a comment and I will do my best to get back to you.